Hey, this is Faraz from Plan Academy. Here are some five useful features that are unique only in Microsoft Project. So, let's see. Let us talk about first feature that is copying and pasting from Excel to Microsoft Project, which is quite unique and we don't get it in other planning softwares. So, if you see here, I have a list of activities that is excavation, reinforcement, foundation, and so on. And I have some duration for it as well. So if I copy it, I'll go to Microsoft Projects here, and I paste it, and here you are. You have all your tasks copied from Excel to Microsoft Project. And you can easily get it indented to create a work breakdown structure and everything. Similarly, you can do with the duration as well. You just need to copy, go back to Microsoft Project and paste it here. And even with the predecessor as well. If you want to copy the predecessor, you can copy it. You just need to add the ID and paste it here. Here you go. So everything is linked. As you can see, it literally took me few seconds to do that. And whereas in other softwares, it might take you more time. Let us move to the next feature, custom field, which is a very interesting feature because where you can add different formulas to get your percentages and many other things, exactly how you do it in Microsoft Excel or Power BI. So to do that, let us say I have my plan progress here, like the plan cost and the actual cost and the bu budgeted cost as well. Now I want to get the plan percent and actual percent for it. So to do that, I will have custom field created here. As you can see for the plan percentage, I'll go to formula and I will add a formula here that divides the plan cost to the total cost of the project, which gives me the value of the percentage. So I will just add the formula here. Again, to get the formula, there will be a link in the description below. You can go there, get the formula and try it yourself. I'll hit OK and similarly for actual percentage, I will have a formula here. I'll hit OK. So now I will search for plan person complete and you can see I got the percentage uh, what I planned to this date. And similarly for the actual person complete, I will search for this field and here we are. I have the actual person complete as well. In this way, you can do lots of different things here. Moving forward, the next interesting feature is you can provide a conditional formatting to your columns as well. Conditional formatting and how to use it. Usually you hear conditional formatting only in Microsoft Excel, but we have this feature in Microsoft Project as well. So let us see here. I'll, I'll again use custom field to get conditional formatting here. I'll create an indicator field here. Let me delete this text for and I want to use formula for it. So I'll hit OK, go to formula. Now under this indicator, I want to bring all the critical activities and highlight it with some indicators here. So I'll go to field here and under the flag, I will see I have critical option here. So I'll select that and hit OK. That's all. And I will name it as critical indicator to Here you go. Now that I have this, I have a graphical indicator which works as a conditional formatting for you. But before that, let us hit OK and see what happens. OK. Critical indicator which we just created. And here you are with yes and no. So if the value is yes, which means your activity is critical. If the value is no, your activity is not critical. Let us see if we have assigned any filter here. We have a filter. Let us remove this filter. Here you go. So you can see, and there are some points value as well, which you can face. So it's very easy to just delete everything. And you have left with all the yes and no. Yes means the activities are critical. No means activities are not critical. And I want to indicate that with uh, some kind of highlight, which is easy to read. So again, I'll go to project and custom field. I will use graphical indicator now in this case. So, so if it's equal to yes, then 
I can have some indicator here. Let us say red indicator. And if it's not critical, I don't want to put anything there. So I'll hit OK. And here you go. So now you have all the indicators here, which is conditional formatting. If any activity moves into critical path or moves out of critical path, the indicator will change automatically. So this is an interesting third feature. Let us move to the fourth feature now. Exporting report from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel with ease. Like you don't have to do anything major here. Let us see. We have our project open here and I want to get a report here. So I'll go to reports. It gives me an option with different reports here like dashboard, resource, cost, getting started and visual report. So I'll go to visual reports now. And under this, I have a lot of pre-built reports here for me, like a cash flow report. Let us export and see how it looks. I need it distributed by weeks, which is fine. And I'll click on view. It takes some time to load and it's loading. Here we are. So we have our cash flow report generated within seconds. We have distribution on the X axis with the cost distribution on the Y. Now you have it distributed quarterly. You can always go here and open it to get it by week. So if I'll go back to the charts, here you go. Five quarter one weekly. Here we are. So we have the weekly distribution now for our cash flow, which you will not find in many other planning software. You have to get the data and create the chart on your own. Whereas Microsoft Project connects with Excel to give you a report within seconds. Okay, so moving to our last feature, which is organizer. Now, it's a very interesting feature and I have seen people not use it quite often. So it's very important to know. As you can see earlier, we have created some custom field here that is subcontractors, plan percentage, actual percentage for our calculation purposes. Now, I, if I'll open a new project here, I will see that all those custom field are not there in the new project. So if I'll go to custom field, those fields are not there. So again, I have to create, add the formula and verify if the result is correct or not. To avoid all those things, we can always make our custom field global. And that is why your organizer is used for. Let us go back to my project and I'll go to file and under the info, I see here, organize global template. So I'll go here in the organizer and in this, I can see there is a field option. So you can see there is no global custom field available to us yet. If I want to make my plan an actual person field global, I'll go here and copy it. So it has become global now. Similarly, the actual person field, I'll copy it. It has become global. Now I'll just close it. Now if I open a new project, let's open it and go to custom field. I see that I already have these fields now. So I don't need to create it again and it can be used for all the projects that I'm gonna work on. You have seen me working on a project here, which is a construction project and I have shown you a lot of interesting features in this. If you want to learn how to build this project from the scratch, uh, it's a construction project where we have engineering, procurement and many other activities. I'll show you in our new Microsoft project course which talks about all the details that you need to know to build a schedule from the ground up. Make sure to download the cheat sheet below the video where you will have a Microsoft project file and the formula for getting the plan person and actual percentage. Head to planacademy.com and check out the Microsoft project course previews. Let me know what other topics you want me to cover and I'll make sure that it comes up. See you until next time.